The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today, we're going to use Auto-Tune 10 to achieve a more subtle tuning effect. The example that I've got is my brand new track, California Picnic featuring Baker. And if you'd like to hear the finished song, you can check out my very next YouTube upload. So as you can see, we have a pretty high retune speed. And that is where the majority of the effect is coming from. We're actually not even touching any of the other knobs. But the very first thing that I want to do to this plugin to find a more subtle sound is switch between classic and auto-tune 8 algorithm. Because you'll find as you listen to it that there is a very subtle difference. And you'll be able to pick one which better suits the vocal without even having to turn down your retune speed. So let's just loop the first line and kind of flip back and forth until we hear which one sounds better. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California picnic? So right away, I'm hearing that with classic mode turned off, it's a lot less fluttery without even yet turning down the retune speed. The next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and grab this knob and pull it back to the point where we can't really hear the effect anymore. Actually, I kind of liked it a little bit above 30. So let's try like 20. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah, yeah. The... And now what these other knobs here on Auto-Tune 10 do are going to be able to let you cheat this retune speed back up, but doing it naturally. And there's two ways that we could do that. The first thing I'm going to do is grab Humanize. And what Humanize is, is the speed of the transitions between the notes. So by increasing the speed of the transitions between the notes. You then create some headroom for you to go ahead and push the retune speed back up. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah. Where the grass is always green. So as you can see, the sweet spot now just moved back up closer to where we originally had it. We went from about 30 to 20. Now the other knob that's very helpful for this is Flex Tune. And this is similar to Humanize where it slows down the transition, but instead this allows some deviation during the sustain part of the note. So think about this as more as like the attack of the word and this as your wet dry for the sustain of the word. Would you like to come to my California picnic? And you can see now in the middle of the notes, it allows it to deviate from the center. Whereas this says, once the note's there, just keep it there. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah. Now let's pull back our retune speed a little bit more. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah. Where the grass is always green. Oh, I know it got you there. Are you one of the millions of music producers who don't know how to play real musical instruments? Did you quit guitar lessons back in middle school because it made your fingers hurt? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the solution for you. Introducing the Guitar Bundle, an organic collection of electric and acoustic progressions ready to drop into your next smash hit. The Guitar Bundle is available now only at wholeloops.com. Because the lyrics are very short and fast, you can't really push this too high, but if this was a slower vocal, maybe R&B, or anything with more legato notes, Humanize is definitely going to be your best friend. But this is a little bit of a tricky vocal because we have some issues with some flat notes and also some really short words. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah. The next thing that we're going to do is go and put some automation in for our retune speed knob. As you play it, you'll find that there's spots where you can get away with more retune speed and spots where you have to pull it back. So let's just kind of highlight this first part and see what we get. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah. So maybe right here we heard a little bit too much auto tune, so I'm just going to drag it and pull it down. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Let's try just adding it to the syllable. 
Maybe this one too. And you can really get in and fine tune it as closely as you'd like. And this one doesn't have too many notes in it. So you can even crank that one up a little bit. Where the grass is always green. Oh, I know it got you lifted. Yeah. Same thing with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Where the grass is always green. Oh, I know it got you lifted. Yeah. Auto tune's not always going to guess the note correctly. On the word grass in this song, let me solo it. Where the grass is up. The grass. Is still a little bit flat. So, a trick that you can do outside of Auto Tune to help Auto Tune get it a little bit more correct is go find it and make it its own clip. And then grab that clip and grab the detune right here. And now Auto Tune is guessing the correct note just because we pushed it a little bit closer to where it should have been. And that way you don't have to turn up the retune speed on the whole song just to get that one note to work. It's a lot better to just go in and fix that one note. And if you're using Pro Tools, you would just go into the Audio Suite menu and grab that Pitch 2 plugin that comes with Pro Tools and do the same adjustment and just render it right here on the timeline. And the final tip for keeping your auto-tune subtle is take advantage of how your background vocals are much quieter. We got that thing, yeah. We got that drink, yeah. we As you can hear, there's a lot more tuning on this, but when you hear when you hear it under the less tuned lead, you don't even notice that there's a lot of extra tune going on back here. We turn it up. Wow, wow, wow. Well, there you have it. That is my guide to using Autotune a little bit more subtly. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in a comment below, and I'll see you with my next upload, the California Picnic official music video. Peace out.